back to the land of you don't lose your girlfriend you just lose your turn don't talk about my girlfriend like that <laughs> not <laughs> his girlfriend she's our, our girlfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> Alrighty, much like any uh good a feller takes to the old house scrolling through the old kajiji come across a uh, couple of minty fords and uh well when I mean, you're not knocking and go buy a couple of minty fords willard Time to get this day started off right. I mean, remember, you can't drink all day yeah. unless you start in the morning. It was like my was yawning. Suddenly, I just feel like <sighs> skipping out on buying another Ford and going to get a Dodge. Oh my God! Oh, well, let's go get another shipping crate. Thirty-five pounds that a man loses, he gains one inch in his. Mm. We well, the more wheels of God, the better I like it. I'm the brother of a truck driving mother. Alrighty, we'll just pull over on the side of the highway to throw some 1202 in the old print. Well, you know what? I'm gonna lie to you guys. It's not really 1202 anymore. It's kind of leaning towards the direction of uh, 1267. I'll show. I'll show you what I mean. Rather than uh, tr me trying to explain it, I figured I'll just show you. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. You have stolen my dreams and my childhood. How dare you? You don't need to worry about running used engine oil in your truck. I mean, I paid carbon tax, so basically it's fine. Oh, yeah, bud. Let's roll.
Alrighty, well, I didn't film it, but the 400 mile drive got there no problem at all with the minty old ones. And uh, the old second gen Dodge here fired up no problem, being she's a 24 valve. I didn't bother filming that at all because I was uh, trying to haggle a deal. But yeah, the old Dodge fired up mint, and then uh, all this took place. Alrighty, we made her here mint. Made a deal on the old Dodge, but uh, got a little rear end issues. Got to pull that straight. Leaf springs broke off, but uh, we'll straighten her up and get her to drive on the trailer. First, we got to pull the drive shaft out of her. What for? It uh, pushed the diff back so far that it pulled it out of the slip yoke. See if she moves. Basically a hillbilly alignment rack. Would you uh, want to do a little rear engine with the skid steer for a second? Are you alright with that? I just wanted to lift up the back a little bit so the leaf spring hangs and then I'll just pull her straight. Just on this back corner here, you don't have to be all that gentle. I don't I don't think you're gonna hurt the resale of this box side. so the plan is right here the leaf springs busted right off so what we're gonna do is lift the truck up hopefully the leaf spring will sit back down into that pocket keep going Down. Perfect. Give her. You're good to go. That's perfect, buddy. Thank you very much. Don't tell me that wasn't fun. I've seen the smile. So now you got to give it the proprietary. That's not going anywhere. It's no longer a Bluetooth drive shaft. You wouldn't believe how many trucks are driving around with front Bluetooth drive shafts. Well, around my place anyway. They're, it's probably rebuilt, sitting on the bench, but they're just too lazy to put it in until they get stuck in the middle of the driveway and, and then they finally get around to doing it. But that's the only way to do things, right? I did go a little far forward with it. I might snatch block it back. Well, it's your fault, you and your skid steer. Okay, it's 2023 accountability is a thing of the past. You're supposed to pass it on to him now. And then, and then after it's all said and done, blame it on Corona. All right, we got her snatched. And then we'll just yank on her a bit here. I'm fixing the Nerf bar at the same time. You see that? There we go. Perfect. It even lines up for sakes. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Oh, I it up. How dare I? All righty, well, rear end's all straightened out. Drive shaft back in her. We uh, got a little whiskey wrinkle on the bumper, but that's no big deal. And now we got to drive around the trailer. Oh, I could drive all the way back to Grand Prairie. Those ratchet straps are DOT approved. So how long has she been sitting here? A while. How many times did you remind Mark that it was here? <laughs> it's going to identify as a battery for a little while. Got the brake clean and the good stuff in here. Are you ready to lose that hundred bucks that you bet me? <laughs> oh, the windows work. I gotta flip my toe mirrors up. I... Are you f***ing retarded? What the hell's the matter with you? Do you want me to be f***ing retarded? Son of a Jesus Christ. Not even funny anymore. Oh, the brakes even work. Perfect. Did you guys hear me up my fender again? Every time I pull onto this thing, I wreck the fender. And then it ends up going into the tire. And then I have to buy new tires again. Oh, 
Yeah, but I barely even stoved it right in. So you're telling me that I bent this? I drank four beer straightening this thing out the other weekend. Four. Looks like I'm gonna have to drink five more to get her back. That's a good one this time. I, got, I actually got a bar here just for that. Well, there's, they're removable fenders and you're supposed to remove them, but I just like squishing them, I guess. Like an idiot. Here at Zip Ties and Bias Plies, we run nothing but the finest equipment, barely even found from a dump. Trailer fenders, bend them back with a bar. Rear axles ripped out of your truck, ratchet strap. Greasy old lot lids are down at the gas station. Don't worry, we're safe. We use the pullout method. This. If you guys were DOT, would you think that fender's mint? We used a lot of our backs and a little of our brains. We jacked up the jacks and snugged up the chains. Alrighty, well, the only thing more beauty around here than the scenery is people. What a beauty bunch of guys just uh, sat there and watched my fat ass fiddle thing back together. Oh, 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 the Dodge is completely dirt. Oh, oh, uh oh, I'm f***ing up the resale. Oh, I mean, what's even going on here? The shipping crate has completely rotted off. I don't want that to blow out. There we go. It still smells like spray bomb. Is anything else gonna fall off? Jeebus. Holy. Hashtag Dodge. Smith go 15 grand. I know what I got. Oh, the old prick runs good though. She's wrapped the strap on the front, what for? I'm stunned and one of the boomers was fucked. But yeah, well let's figure out what we're gonna do because it would be nice to drive this piece of So I'm gonna get on the horn and see if I can't find a guy that's got a leaf spring laying around and uh, wants to help me fiddle one back in the spot. Might as well down and find out, right? Eh? Alrighty, well here's the plan. I went from uh, Sundry, where this hot rod was parked, to Cochrane, Alberta. I looked around on the the internet and there's nobody that has anything close to a leaf spring for a feller uh man this dodge while you're driving on the road is just falling apart like it's it's spectacular you got like this truck is 2001 the truck towing it's a 97 like i don't understand like you know shipping crate this chevy that ford that blah 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 but like this truck is an exquisite pile of rust like there's rust in places where like, like the, it's bad. Oh, it's bad, it's bad. It's just not good. Dodge has to have the worst metal ever. Made it a hot Dodge tailgate, perfect though. Mint, but yeah, this pile of uh, So the plan was to fix it up and have it tow the Ford because you know, if Dodges are half as good as the guys say they are, well then this thing should go to the moon and back on a half tank of gas, right? Basically what we're Doing. We're taking this sick dope exhaust tip and this sick dope rims, or but we're just gonna stick dope it all the way back to uh, G Dale. Just will the fist go through it? Almost like hot pile of. Well, yeah, this pile of shipping crate is gonna enjoy a free ride on the back of this loyal old Ford, and my fat crippled wants to go see some mountains and some streams and uh well this thing's burning used engine oil so i kind of want to go have a bunch of protesting hippies follow me around while i drive this hot pile of the mountain i just wrote this fender the off again son of a i drank three or four beer straightening these fenders and welding them up and this pile of dodge up so we're gonna go to the mountains i got my sleeping bag i got a bar of soap i'm gonna go scrub my balls in a creek and do hippie so let's get a move on six lanes tail lights red ants marching into the night what a minty view to wake up to at a nice old sleep in old hotel furred let's get this pile of dodge home i guess Freak. Dirty old oil burning furred engaged. Play 
always have her beauty. Rocky mountains everywhere you look. And creeks and streams and granola eating guys. Hippies and vegan farting it up. But uh, keep seeing all these signs that say uh, don't stop and feed the wildlife. And I guess that's why I had to really bang and fart for this lemon barker. give you uh fellow really a little bit of a tip the best place for you to go with these mountain drives is the place where there's no sign to tell you that it's gonna be because usually if there's a bunch of signs to tell you it's gonna be mint there's a bunch of tree hugging hippies and god tourists everywhere they're not people they're hippies this was just some old service road we're gonna go have a little i bet you it's gonna be beauty oh oh my pants what a beauty place not the kind of person to say a toad or so, but you know what? A toad or so. Oh, a toad or so. Holy sweet fiddlers, this beauty. Holy is this beautiful in here. Yes, mossy and majestic mountains and the sun and, the, and everything. <coughs> oh, dodge. It'll get you every time. Holy piece of dodge ever heavy. Hobbin. But check out the kids on Mother Nature. What a treat. Go look at the fun bags on that hose hound. What's the grade? All of it. Come on, girl. You don't need to worry about tyros. You just know you're working the old trick when uh, you start to get that It's not a burning smell per se in a bad way, but when the 10 gauge goes above where she never goes, and it just starts to burn off a little bit of that engine oil that's coating the side of the block. Well, that, that, that's what the smell you get. That's how you know you're doing it right. I've driven by here a hundred times and I'd always say to myself, myself, one of these days your hillbilly ass is gonna go for a rip in that pond and well I never did, but today I'm gonna fuck that up. Probably gonna leave a big greasy oil stain because you know I'm a dirty but I mean that's the way the road. The road's right there and that's she goes. The way she goes. I mean the chance of someone seeing my uh white hillbilly ass and uh raw dog in this pond up are pretty good chances, but uh ask me if I give a fuck. probably gonna be a bunch of Dirt lump tourist slowing down, taking a picture of the Sasquatch. Holy shit, he's Bigfoot! That's gonna be a gooder. 
She's silly. Whew. I went from an Audi to an Innie. Oh, we well, there you go. Nature's dirty old bathtub right on the side of the highway. One of the worst oil spills in U.S. history brought Americans' images of blackened beaches, dying wildlife, outrage, and betrayal. You don't need to worry about tourists seeing my hog. Very small. If anybody could identify the bearded broad right now, it'd be this guy. Jeebus. Just beauty. Now I can drive down the highway bare and drive the What a good day.
Dodge Delete. Good old Cialis. Why is her name Cialis? Because it's yellow and it gets my dick hard. Ah. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's fine. I was a little hung up on the Dodge Diff, but uh, they let go. Holy Oh, these kicky jokes. And don't worry. We liberated this shipping crate of a beautiful mill before we did this to it. <laughs> Garbage. Alrighty there, pet your heads and piss flaps, heads or tails. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Or the wisdom to know that this thing opens a beer can pretty good. Ugh. Some of you guys will know what this is and some of you guys won't. That's just the way she goes. Well, she was a long wait, but I reckon she was worth it. Everybody, Peckerheads, Piss Flaps, I introduce you to Cialis. Holy sweet fiddler. Ever since my hillbilly ass was a kid, I always wanted a skitter. Always. My, uh, I remember uh, growing up, look, look at the size of this thing. Hey, would y'all look at this? I remember growing up and uh, going out into the old cut blocks with my neighbor Kenny Suter, and he had an old skitter. And let me tell you this for all, you don't beat the smell of the inside of a cab of skitter. One of the hood or any of that, you got like the, the diesel and the engine oil and all the mintiness, all fused and entwined. All infused and entwined. I'm telling you minty pricks, <laughs> this thing is the ticket. So here's the story on why it took me so long to get this video done. I had another shipping crate that, uh, that I had bought off my buddy Brian, but the thing was in pretty shape and it didn't feel like killing it what for uh i got home from the trip of going to get the shipping crate it had a date with cialis it was gonna get real hard but then i found out that my neighbor well he was out of a hunting truck and he had to steal his ladies four by four what for uh going hunting i'm well, like a guy needs a hunting truck right so the shipping crate that i bought was a uh, club cab long box fur by fur automatic 24 valve of the 99 variety i don't know if it was a 53 block or not but it was a good running driving truck i drove it from edmonton down to rocky mountain house and from rocky mountain house i went the same route as you uh seen in this video the truck ran mint towed the rickshaw home minty as and uh well I, I stopped over at clark's house on the way home and found out about the hunting truck debacle well i traded him for that white truck that ended up taking the beatings i, I can't even stand close to this thing without getting goosebumps and erections Jesus Christ, boys! With the erection! i love this thing yeah 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 a couple of you sharp-eyed prick sculpt her out on a few of my old videos i mean you're not not going to do it i did my best to hide it but man i that thing me and the family i uh, had a couple family events out here we all got piled up and well that's why there's not a whole lot of trees on this side of the properties what for uh you know when you get drunk well i mean when you allegedly drink beers and run skitters what is drunk trees are not not going to get up see you minty pricks might be thinking peg you got money falling out of your well no i went to the auction on a good day and i got that sassy old skitter for ten thousand dollars you can't even buy a set of Mud tires and rims for a pickup truck nowadays for 10 grand. You got that thing for 10 grand, and you ain't gonna build a better mud truck than a skitter. But yeah, as I was saying, the uh, I traded that black Dodge that I got for that truck. I mean, I got a good deal on it. I mean, this one's a little bit flat, you know. It's one of them flat versions. Oh yeah, and you guys might get pissed pants that I killed the burnout trader. I didn't kill the burnout trader. She's still mint. It's got a little warp to it. I mean, it was pretty four and i still used it and uh i'm gonna screw a sheet of plywood on there and unbend it a little bit and it'll be just mint as far as all you uh dodge guys that got right but heard about the mint tailgate that was on that truck and the mint tow mirrors and all the mint body panels and all the rest of the stuff i'm just i'm sorry i'm not nah. nah you guys can go get they're just giant piles of shipping crate this one was a fruitless one it had a gas engine in it <laughs> garbage but if you listen withered are you stunned? If you listen close in the video, you can actually hear the horn honking as it died. But uh, that was pretty good. I had a good time. Oh, that chain held on good. Oh, I grabbed my boomer from somewhere. I wonder what the that went. Oh, oh, look at it. It's hillbilly artifacts. What do we got here? Bow Valley Lager. Mint. But yeah, the shipping crate, didn't. it didn't like that very much. No, the... Uh, 
Whether it's done, the leaf spring that I straightened out while she's well, everything was it was a dodge to begin with, so it was to begin with that tailgate still mint, though. You guys can have that 15 grand firm. I know what I got, no low ballers. You know what else I got? A stunned dog. The old skitter does a good job of getting rid of trees. I mean, just pulls the stump out and everything. Did you see the way she just monster trucked over the whole works, Mr. Pe do you have a massive erection? I'm sorry, it's the it's the pleats. I had erection the whole time. You barely hold it in. Near blew up my Walmart pants. Don't try and church it up, son. No, I'm lying to you guys. They're not Walmart pants. They're from the dump. But yeah, I just like to uh, show you guys what's going on with that. And uh, not only that, I'd like to thank my neighbor Clark there for hooking, hooking me up with the mint trade. Because uh, I mean, the skitter needs to eat. I mean. It's all cock and ribs, so we fed it good. But yeah, there you go. Now you guys have the story on the dirty old skitter named Cialis. What a treat. I mean, you're not not going to go over and get the neighbor's truck and then trade him a diesel truck and then, and then you know, bring it home with another shipping crate that has the mail pulled out of it and then not run it over. I mean, that's not how it works. You got to run that over. Look at the size of this tire. They stack my near six feet tall and that's where this tire stands. Man, you ain't going to get a better by fur than a 748 well a bigger skitter but that's it oh what a treat i don't know if you guys noticed it in the video i had her to mat the whole time when i bought this old hooer she actually had a chunk of wood bolted into the pedal so you could floor it all the way all the time i didn't know what the was so i unbolted it but then after beating on it for a while i really figured out why the was there but my gimpy foot has just the right angle because the seat's off to the Womp us right here a little bit, but yeah, it's got just the right angle that I just floored the whole time. But I didn't you guys notice this, but while I was flooring it and RD and the it, you tickle this button right here, this one, and this one completely eliminates any slippage that are deaf. 100% locked up, doesn't steer for and completely dodges. <laughs> Some harder than a rock hard grizzly. I love this thing. What a treat. But speaking about what a treat, did you watch this video? Uh, yes. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Was it minty as? Yes. Well, thank these yes. all the minty patreons. Oh yeah, and all the minty pricks that bought hats and shirts and t-shirts and the rest is fiddle. They all funded this tour, and let me tell you right now, this old prick got a lot of life left in her, and it's going to take a lot of life out of a lot more vehicles. I love this thing. Look at the grapple. Just didn't look at it. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. <laughs> but yeah, much like always, like thank all the minty pricks that are keeping this dirty old skitter fed with 1202. Uh, first, we got 10 buckers. We got Tuesday Burnout, TKD Racer, Skeeter. You stealing my name? That's actually a funny uh, story right there. I used to work at this uh, place called Hole in the Ground and I was pulling wrenches. And uh, one day I was trying to teach this dirt lump how to torque wheels. I went down the whole one side of the truck trying to teach him how to torque he just wouldn't learn my boys and i have a thing when we meet somebody that just just won't ever learn we'll look at each other and we'll say that's a that's a three-legged dog that's what that fella is he wouldn't learn so i was on out a little bit and next thing you know this parchment sticks his stupid head i think the guy's name was brian guaranteed serial murderer you know those kind of weirdos that wear a turtleneck sweater yeah that's what this guy was guaranteed he's sitting on a deep freeze with a bunch of human body parts in it long story short he sticks his Head out around the corner and gives me a nah nah Skeeter nah nah he ain't hurt nobody. Now calm down Skeeter he ain't hurt nobody. Nah. And uh, ever since then I was, my nickname was Skeeter so uh, buddy you got a mint name. <laughs> All right next on the list we got RPC Pransley Wesley Nelosi Peter Kling not woke way to be a minty prick Mitchell Slowly minty prick Mason Alkire Lee Hype Gusman 93 Grady Hawkins Cody Lee Chris Cameron Ledbetter Brent Wright Burt Miller Baller Cerrone Ravioli what the kind of name is that he must be a dirty old wop don't worry but I'm a crow way she goes you guys joined us for a little while we got Leaf Squirrel E and Joseph Money Kevin K at 1776 what a treat 20 buckers, we got Trevor Wells, Paul Linky, Jordan Lott, Devlin W. Stampler, Dan, Braden Bushby. That's just a f***ing Bushby. Like, this is a fancy name. Bushby. Mr. F***ing Bushby. Branson Smith, Arden Neeson. 25 buckers, we got Garrett. 30 buckers, we got John Robertson. I believe that's some f***ing minty prick from across the pond. Correct me if I'm f***ing wrong.
Amazon. We got your grandma, forty dollars. We got Jesse James the fucking second at a hundred fucking bucks. Thank you very much, you minty prick. And Tim the pool man at Fitty Beans. I know I fucked you up, but you know what, bud? That's just the way she goes. You know, I once trusted a man that once said a Wolverine to make a swell house pet, and that's the last time that I invite my mother-in-law over for dinner. But I believe this: there's minty fucking pricks out there that not only give my fat crippled ass a few bucks a month. But they seem fit to give my hillbilly ass a raise. What a treat. Alrighty, two important things are running out of out here. Light and beer. My liver's and my eyes are falling right behind it. But I mean, that's just the way she goes. Do you guys hear that? Listen, Bobs, hear that? The sounds of the whispering winds. Oh, my pants. Lucky I'm a lucky man. Princess Auto had these shop towels on sale. You ain't had a shit house until you had a shop towel. They're just a treat. It's like wiping your ass with the hand of God. Willard, I had a question. When you dodge guys take a is it kind of like that parrot from Scary Movie? God damn it! What the did you put in this bird seed? He just no gallons of white stuff. You know what? Before I keep reading off these minty Patreons, you got a minty. Old Justin Trudeau brought in not one, but two carbon taxes. Two. We don't have one carbon tax anymore. We got two. But we're going to up Justin Trudeau's stupid carbon tax. We're going to turn on more lights. And then we're going to do this oil Burton style. Because that greasy hair lip. Willard, do you want to engage the old rice paddy diesel and fucking let a little chooch into the air? Or what, bud? Oh, see, this is how you do it when you live in the sticks. You got the old 20 kilowatt fucking uh, money tree. And you just chooch her up. <laughs> Oh, Greta does not love these things. Oh, yeah, you like that, Justin? You wanna lick my paint? Oh, yeah, she's shooting me. All right, well, now we'll just go over here. Hit the old grid switch. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna read these minty Patreons in the diesel light, because Justin Trudeau. All righty, well, back to the previously scheduled programming before I ran out of guy light and beer. All the minty pricks that not only stuck around, gave my fat crippled ass a raise. Alrighty, so instead of showing you guys this minty shitty view of my dirty old shop, just like this, I'll give you guys a nice view of the mountains on my way back from grabbing that first shipping crate. I mean, the editing skills around here are just tip top. I mean, the guy that does it, he's barely even an alcoholic. I mean, it's Tuesday night. Who doesn't get drunk on a Tuesday night? I get a pink flamingo for sakes. Uncle Tony gave it to me. You guys go yourself. I'm gonna get drunk by myself on a Tuesday night. Well, Willard's here. You guys. Back to the raises. We got Ramrod, Rippin Carlton, Metal Church 87, Miss Jaw Jig, Alex Hughes, Dean Sevick, Teen Stowell, Nunya Business, or Nunya B, Kills the Bra, Quinn, Track Blummer, Hot Broads, and Tiny Hogs. Buddy, that's the story of my life. Gage, Derek from VA, Diesel the Whitetail Buck, Clayton Perry, Wiss Crawford, Lee Rocker, the Death Trap Cummins. Buddy, every one of them dodges a guy death trap. Good on you. Keep running that thing. Death Wobble, it's supposed to happen. I mean, it's just the way she goes. It's just natural. Wet Factory 1738, War 2014, Patrick Wolden, Crazy Ryan, William Godfrey, Ryan Zeminak, Aaron Moreland, Heartless. He spelled Heartless with an H-A-R-T. That sounds a lot familiar buddy you from 962 or what steven schlope sorry for bc hundy beans ben duffin chris coffin ethan fleming aaron cronin chris mcglumpy wyatt cummings wyatt cummings that sounds like a buddy of mine it might have may or may not have just bought a truck up dakota Elmeda, meathead Braden bushby david hibben jarrett 1733 patrick s miller nuke fire leaf squirrel e buddy you became a patreon and he gave my fat crippled race thank you very much. Ian Hearn, Ian Adams, Thor Lund, Jake Sturwald, Christopher Lewis, Ben Turner, Nick Pepper, War Daddy, Andy Carlson, Ryan Patterson, US A Ranch. Buddy, that, that's just a name, hey? It just, just rolls off your tongue and into the minty category. Aaron Two Smoke, Wesley Leck, Chevzuki 6969. That's what he gave me for a raise. $69 and 69 
cents. And same thing with new NZ. New NZ and Shebzuki gave me $69 and 69 cents. What a treat. The Aussie Redneck, Kobe Frazier, Clayton Miraz, Clayton Miraz, Keith Corum, John Robertson, Joe Bushwookie, Ben Freeman, Matthew Sh. Holy buddy. Shemel Fennig, Matthew Shemel Fennig. What in the sweet fiddlers is that? Mr. Sister Fister, what, why can't you have a name like Mr. Sister Fister? I mean, when you go into court, you take off your hat, you make sure you wear one of the nice clip-on ties, and you tell the honor, my name is Mr. Sister Fister. And then the look on his face is going to be a lot better than if you walk in there and say, hey, look, my name is Matt Shemel Fennig, whatever the name is. Buddy, what the you meant this. Get a name like Mr. Sister Fister. Doster Simnaski, Ryan Yard, Leighton Scharf, and Mike B. I know, I know. You guys were enjoying that panoramic view of the mountains. But now you're back here. But don't worry, that whole park stinks like dirty old hippies. The greasiest hippies. Like name brand, dinky old, dope smoking hippies. Just look at that shit that fly fabricate weld did for me, whatever the name is. What a treat. Anyhow, those are the minty pricks that are keeping this dirty 1202 fed mill alive you guys minty and pricks the rest of this beers for you well well save me a sip jesus greedy pricks <laughs> but once again thank you guys very much but until next time you minty pricks keep on your ass a little while back my old man and, uh, well, long story short, he uh, had a bleed in his head. He had his uh, his ECM had a bit of a leak, and uh, they told us he was a write off. So I drove from here. I drove down to uh, my hometown of Old Prince George. We got there, and we figured out that uh, while my old man had been flowing to Vancouver, BC, so they could uh, operate on the minty prick. We drove all the way down to BC. The whole time thinking my old man was a write off. It was the uh, hardest time of my life. The eight hours I spent thinking my old man had. And, uh, both feet in the grave had left us but on that trip down there we uh we got to a motel that was just outside the hospital and my uh and my auntie gave us a call saying that my old man went to surgery they said he was worth doing surgery on and uh that he wasn't dead and uh they drilled a bunch of holes in his head to relieve a bunch of pressure and done surgery and all the rest of the fiddle and that night when i was laying in the hotel i didn't uh didn't get much sleep believe it or not and uh i made a patreon post and the patreon post went as such it was uh basically for all you meant to prick to go out spend some time with your dad because uh you don't know how long the minty prick's gonna be here for so it doesn't matter what kind of fiddle you got with your old man let's say if you and your old man don't get along very good that doesn't matter that minty prick built this country every guy that's older than you built this country he paid tax he built roads hospitals churches all the rest of the minty without them minty pricks we would be absolutely fiddle so go out and spend some time with your dad with the name brand of that post and uh yeah i'm not gonna stand here and preach to you mint pricks but uh yeah go spend some time with your old man because you never know how long that is gonna be around for shortly after making that post i had a bunch of comments on there and let me tell you if you didn't have salt and dirt in your eye before you got there you definitely did after i had every kind of comment from uh my old man and i don't get along to uh i lost my dad last year and all the rest of that <clears throat> and it was hard on the old heart to read all that so all you guys just uh just know you guys are minty as and i appreciate every comment you guys made because uh the feller was going through some hard times and you guys uh you guys really helped the feller out but enough me john i just want to say appreciate all you minty 